Whether you're new to Lightburn and operating a laser, or a seasoned user, you should always check the preview window before running any job. This window simulates the movements and lasering operations the machine will perform, letting you catch potential errors in your design and settings before they've been permanently cut or engraved into your material. Open the preview window by clicking on the monitor icon in the top toolbar, clicking the window menu and selecting preview, right-clicking in your workspace and selecting preview, or using the hotkey Alt plus P. When you first open the preview window, you'll see a still image of the final result of your project. The contours to be scored or cut by line mode will be indicated by black lines, and the areas to be etched or engraved by fill or offset fill will be shown as solid black areas. Image engravings will appear differently depending on the image mode you've selected. For some images and modes, you may need to zoom in to get an accurate representation of the engraving. If the preview doesn't match your expectations, you'll know you have some editing to do before you start the job. If graphics you're expecting to see don't appear, exit the preview window and go to Edit Delete Duplicates to make sure you don't have overlapping copies. If you're using cut selected graphics, make sure you have everything you want to send to your laser selected. You'll also see red lines. These lines indicate the path your laser will travel while not firing. You can toggle show traversal moves at the bottom of the preview window to switch between showing these moves or not. You can use this option to check that your overscanning value is not excessive, that your laser's path will avoid any fixtures in your laser's work area, and whether it's following an efficient path overall. If not, you can adjust your optimization settings to alter the path. If you ever need a reminder on the difference between black and red lines, check the legend in the upper left. Once you've got it committed to memory, you can toggle off the show legend switch in the bottom left. To check that the elements of your project are cut or engraved in the correct order, press the play button to see an animated simulation of your job from start to finish. The playback speed slider lets you adjust the playback from 1 tenth to 40 times the speed. Any adjustments made in this window only affect the preview window and don't change any of Lightburn's output to the laser. You can also click and drag the time slider under the output to quickly scrub back and forth through the project. Unless you've made a change in your optimization settings, layers are always output according to their order in the cuts and layers window. Rearrange them there if you need to change the order. Underneath the time slider are statistics about the job and the estimated runtime. To ensure these values are correct, make sure you've read simulation settings from your controller under the Additional Settings tab in Device Settings. We have a video covering this process linked in the description. Cut distance shows the distance the laser will travel while on and the estimated time it will take the laser to complete those movements. Rapid Moves shows the distance the laser will travel while off, between cutting or engraving, and the estimated time to complete those moves. The total estimated time is the combined total the laser will take to complete all cut and rapid moves. If you find that your laser is spending an inordinate amount of time completing rapid moves, it could be an indication that you have lots of graphics set to fill mode spaced far apart. Try switching to fill shapes individually in the cut settings editor. If you're engraving large shapes with hollow areas in the middle, try using offset fill instead. The toggle options next to playback speed give you additional customization of the preview output. Enable shade according to power to show higher and lower power cut moves with grayscale shading. This only works with grayscale image mode, power scaling, and ramp mode. With invert enabled, cut moves display in white on a black background. This is useful to get a more accurate representation of your final job when engraving on dark surfaces where the etching is lighter than the material, such as black acrylic and slate. For the bottom right buttons, Start Here is used to recover interrupted jobs by starting the laser at a precise time partway through the operation. Check out our video on restarting incomplete jobs linked in the description to see this in action. Save Image saves the currently displayed preview as an image file. Now you know what the preview window is and how to use it to ensure you have the highest level of success by catching errors and verifying expected output before it's too late. Be sure to like and subscribe for more great videos on Mastering Lightburn.